Okay, you are welcome to class. So this is the material we'll be using for this uh, shirt dress. It is cotton material and it is about three years. I have three years of material here. So this is the first thing you want to do. I'm going to cut the front uh, pieces first. And you know we have plaquettes at the front. So I folded this fabric into two already. And I am going to fold out like two inches for my plaquette. So I have two inches here now for the bottom plaquette. Now I'll go ahead and measure all my vertical measurements. So I'm, I'll be leaving one inch here, one inch as my margin. So just for tutorial purpose, I'm going to leave that half inch so that you can see what we are doing very well. So I'm going to chop it out like this. And this is going to serve as our starting point. So from here now I'm going to measure my uh, bust line or chest line. So I'm going to measure it. My hole is 9 inches. You are going to input whatever your hole measurement is. So I'll just go ahead and draw out my straight line. So after this now, I'm going to measure from shoulder to uh, waistline. I have my shoulder to waistline to be 16 inches. So I will measure the 16 inches across like so. Do you get it now? So and I will draw my straight line. So after this now is my shoulder to hip measurement. So the shoulder to hip measurement I'm working with is 27. So I'll go ahead and measure my 27. So after this now is going to be from shoulder to knee length. So the shoulder to knee length I'm working with is 42. So I'll measure here now my 42 inches and I will draw my straight line. So this is my 42 and I'll just go ahead and draw my straight line. This is all our vertical measurements. So the next thing to do now is to insert my all the horizontal measurements and I'm going to start with the shoulder measurements. So the shoulder I'm working with is 17. 17 into 2 is going to give us 8.5. I will bring it down to the chest line here. 8.5 and I'm going to draw a straight line like so. So this is going to be our arm ordered. So and thereafter on this line I'm going to measure my bust measurement. So the bust measurement I'm working with is bust 41. So 41 into 4 is going to give me 10.25 and my waist is waist 35. So if I divide 35 into 4 it's going to give me 8 three quarter is 0.75 and I have it like so so the hip I'm working with is hip 46 so 46 into 4 is going to give me it's going to give me 11.5 so I have my 11.5 like so now I'm not going to shape it at the hem so whatever I have here is what I will bring here so I'll bring down my 11.5 so I'll just go ahead and connect all these points together like this can you see it and like so so this is all our horizontal measurement but mind you i have not added any seam allowance so i'll be i'll make it 1.5 the seam allowance i am adding 1.5 so i'll just go ahead and add my 1.5 all through so this is going to be the same allowance now I haven't done this, now let's work on the upper part. So here now we're going to work on our neckline. You know it has shirt collar. So I'm not going to use 3x3 three three because I really want the shirt collar to stay firmly on my client's neckline. So I'm, I'm going to use 2.5 here for the width and for the depth I will use 3.5. 2.5 x 3.5 and I'm going to connect with my Oh, oh, so this is my neck for the front, and I'm going to measure my shoulder slope one inch and I will connect to the tip of my neck like this. So, you are going to measure your armhole, I will divide it into two equal halves like this, and I will come in by half inch here, I will connect it to the bust measurement with my cup so and i will bring it to the shoulder 
in here. So this is going to be my arm hole. And don't forget, I have not added my seam allowance. So I'm going to add the half inch seam allowance to it like this. Do you get it now? So we are done with the front bodies. So I'll go ahead and cut it out now, like so. We look like can you see so if you have something like this that means you cut correcting now because this is a shirt dress i'm going to come down from the neckline the shoulder area i'll come down by one inch now uh, you're going to get it better by the time we're going to uh, cut the back uh, pieces the reason why we are doing this is because your back pieces should rest on the front pieces so i'm going to remove one inch here my shirt is going to rest by one inch on the shoulder area from the back to the front and I'll just go ahead and cut it out so now this is what you're going to have for your front and I'll put this front aside so that we can work on the back block so to cut the back I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two can you see it now this time around you're not going to have any cuts here because there is no cut at the back now I've gone ahead to measure all my vertical measurements so this is going to be my shoulder line my bust line my waistline my hip and the length of the gown now i left two inches up here because of the resting so i'll go ahead and insert my uh my shoulder measurement just like we did for the front and i will insert all the horizontal measurement just following the same process we followed the other time so this is going to be my arm O. I'll go ahead and measure my my bust measurement 41 into 4. It's going to give us 10.5. And I have my waist measurement to be 35. My hip measurement to be 46. So the same thing we did for the front is what we are doing here now. The only difference is just that there is no placket at the back, you know. So I'll just go ahead and connect. And I'll connect like this so don't forget we added 1.5 inch seam allowance i'll go ahead and do so now this is my seam allowance for the back piece so i'll just connect together so now after this so you come down from the shoulder line by one inch and the neck width is going to be 2.5 no we use 2.5 for the front and the depth is going to be just one inch the depth for the back neckline is going to be one inch and i will connect together like this so i will connect the shoulder slope is going to be one inch and i will bring it down like so so this is what we have can you see it now so for the hammer curve, curve i'm going to divide it into two equal halves and this time i will not go in by half inch because this is a shared dress so i'll just connect it like this do you get it now so this is what we have now for the one inch we remove from the back i'm going to lift it up like so i'm going to add 1.5 plus the same allowance do you get it now so i'll just add my 1.5 like so and connect so this one now i'm going to show you you're going to see it by the time i cut it out how it's going to rest on the front neckline so go ahead and connect this together like so so i lifted this back shoulder by 1.5 do you get it now so you just find a way of connecting it together like so do you get it now and your back block is ready so what i'll do now is to add half inch seam allowance for the joining of our sleeve so and our back block is ready so i'll just go ahead and cut it out like so so now after cutting it out like this i'm going to bring the front pieces so that you see how it will look like now by the time we join it together front and back pieces together this is what you will have the 
length is going to be equal like this. Are you seeing it? So bring the length together like so. And we're going to check if the neckline is aligned. Can you see it? So this is what your neck should look like. Can you see it? Your back neckline should rest a bit on the front neckline. Can you see it? So this is what we have. Now you can just go ahead and notch this part where the resting is starting from. Just give it a small notch. So now after this, the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to take the front pieces to the ironing table. You know, our placket allowance, we're going to fold it in. Now this is what you want to do for the placket allowance. You know, it's, we have two pieces for the front. So these are the two pieces for the front. I've actually done this. Now you're going to take it to the ironing table. You're going to fold in this like this, half inch like this. And you're going to refold again one inch. Do you get it now? So and you're going to use your iron to do this. And this is going to be for the right side of your shirt. This part is for the right side of your shirt. Now, this right side is where you're going to have your button. So this is what you should have for the side we have your button. Now for the left side, because we are going to put in button holes there, I will advise you add a little bit of structure to this part. And I've gone ahead to cut out uh, my stay. So I'm going to use that stay just to support this part. Now this stay is going to be the amount of uh, my placket width. I have it as one inch. Now you're going to centralize it like this. This is what you want to do. You are going to place it on your dress like this. You make sure that by the time you fold in this part, it will cover the stay. Do you get it now? So you make sure what you have here, by the time you use it to cover the stay, it will cover it all. Do you get it? Before you now iron it down. Do you get my points now? So you take it to the ironing table, leaving here the amount of fabric that will be enough to cover this space. So I'll go and do that now. I'll come and show you the next thing to do. Alright, this is it. I've ironed down the placket allowance and this is what we have. So this is going to be to the left side, the side that you will have your bottom holes. I told you to add stay there so that that place will be a little bit stronger. Do you get it now? Before you fold it in like this, can you see the way I folded it in? like this and like this and this part is just going to be for the buttons this is the right side where you are going to add your button do you get it now so we have the two fronts like this now the next thing we are going to do is this i'm going to bring up my back uh block so i have it like this i'll take it to the sewing machine i'm going to join it on the two shoulders i'm going to jo join the two together and I'm going to shape it out by the side and I'll come and show you the next thing to do. So this is it, I've joined the shoulders. Can you see it? And I'm going to have to shape my dress. I've weaved the inside. Can you see? So this is taking shape now. So for the uh, gathers, for the damp parts, so it's about 80 inches long, 80 by 22 inches. So I have gathered it I've run uh, loose stitches, so I will gather it to the hem of this my uh, dress. Don't forget that we have not finished up this part, and the reason why we have not done it is because of this. Do you get it now? So I will need to sew this one together with it before we can finish this. So I'm going to gather it now. I will gather it and i will join it to the hem of this dress so i'll take it to the sewing machine and i will go and do just that so this is it i have joined the down part and i'm gonna have to weave the inside now to finish up our placket for this side that you will have the button hole this is how you're going to go about it you know we have folded it in two places so you will take it to the sewing machine now. You are going to secure it down like this. Not at the opening here. The first place you are going to sew when you get to the sewing machine is going to be this side. This part where we have everything folded. Do you get it now? 
you are going to use like 0 0.25 to sew it all the way down now after sewing it down like that you are going to open it up like this by then it will have secured this part you won't be seeing this one outside so you will open it up like this outside again and you are going to sew it down by 0 0.25 do you get it now and for this side you don't need to do double stitch so for this side you will just sew it down here like this straight down do you get it now now i've sewn down the plaquettes this side now this side that i was talking about i decided not to do the other side so that i will show you before i go ahead to go and do it can you see it i've done this side so it remains this side so this is how the inside should look like can you see it i have secured it and it is not opening again so the same thing i did here now you know it was like this initially so instead of me sewing it down like this i will open it up like this and i will sew it down so that it will be able to overlap and we will have this as a style line outside do you get it now so i will going to do that now and we will do the color so this is it i've done it and can you see it we already have that uh feel can you see it i really love having this line on my shirt so we are done with this now we are going to cut our collar so i'm going to cut two pieces collar the collar stand and the collar itself so i'm going to show you everything in detail now as you can see i am folding this paper into two like this for you to know the width of your collar you are going to measure the neck your neck circumference so you know you must have finished the neck like this and you are going to measure what you have there so on this now i have 9.5 you know i folded it into two so that means this neckline is 19 inches and you know i have folded this paper also into two so leave it like this make it to be on fold now the first thing you are going to do is this i love doing this for tutorial sake so i'm going to draw out a straight line so this is going to serve as our margin can you see it so this is my straight line now on this straight line you are going to measure the 9.5 so i will measure my 9.5 like so and i'm going to square it just go ahead and square this line say by two inches square this line by two inches do you get it now so on this point on this line that you square so just measure 0 0.5 0 0.5 and note so and you're going to measure this 9.5 again and you're going to divide it into two equal halves we want to get the midpoint here so this is the midpoint do you get it now so i have noted that place so you cannot go ahead and connect this point and this point together using your curve that place is not supposed to be straight do you get it now so i will connect it together like so so now after this you cannot go ahead and measure your color stand so for my color stand i want to use you can use between one inch to 1.5 I'll be using 1.25 so i'll use 1.25 here can you see it so this 1.25 you are going to measure it across can you see the way i am measuring so please note you are not going to measure you are going to use this curved line as your guide so you are going to place your measurements on the curved line not on the straight line here do you get it now so go ahead and measure your 1.25 do you get it now so i haven't done this you can just go ahead and use your curve to connect the point so and i'll just bring it together like this can you see it so this color stand is taking shape but we're not going to leave it like this let me trace it out so that we can see it properly all right i hope you can see it better now so the last thing you are going to do on this color stand now is on this point you will go in from this point go in by 0 0.5 go in by half of an inch and note and on this line as well this line go up by 0 0.5 and note do you get it now 0 0.5 and note so i am going to use your hand to just 
curve this in like this you know this place is not supposed to be pointy like this do you get it now and our color stand is ready so you can just go ahead and cut it out so this is the color stand like this now the next thing is to draw to draft our color the color itself so i love doing this draw your straight line again so on the straight line make sure the line is straight please so i have it like this so you are still going to measure your 9.5 9.5 inches you know the neck circumference is 19 inches and you are folded this into two so 9.5 and you go ahead and square this 9.5 again i will square it by three inches so this is it now the next thing you are going to do now is on this line you are going to come in by one inch from this line that you square come in by one inch just go in by one inch like so do you get it now so i want to use 2.5 for my color so i will note now on this 2.5 i will come out by 0 0.25 0 0.25 do you get it now just use 0 0.25 and you go ahead and slant out this line so can you see it's connect the two points together like so so that you have the shape do you get it now so and on this line so you are going to go in by half of an inch from this point go up by half of an inch you know this line is supposed to be two and a half don't forget so this is the two and a half don't forget it you can as well connect it together like this to this point two and a half so just draw your straight line so that you will know what you are working on so i have my two and a half line like this so this half inch that you went up with you just like blend it in to shape this part of your color do you get it and your color is ready so just go ahead and cut it out like so so this is what you will have for your color and color stand. Can you see the way it is? So this is what you should have. Now, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer this. I'm going to use this exact to cut my stay. I'm going to use soft stay just to add a bit of strength to my color. I don't want it to be too strong. So that is why I'm using this soft uh, stay. So just go ahead and cut this exact, the exact uh, size so this is it can you see it i've cut out my color on the stay so this is what you should have so i'll go ahead and transfer this on my fabric but now when i transfer it on the fabric i'm going to add half inch or two half inch or two and i'm going to cut two pieces for this and two pieces for this and i'll go and iron the color so this is it i've prepared the color can you see it? I added half inch or two. Now this is what you are going to do. I did the same thing for the color stand. So you cut two pieces for the color stand and for the color itself. Now this is what you are going to do. This is the part that you are going to join to the neck. This part here. So you are going to take it to the sewing machine now. You are going to sew like this from this part. From this part now you just sew it in like this. To this part so you are going to leave this place open because that is the part you are going to attach to the color stand and for the color stand the one that i attach or uh, stay on can you see it so the half inch for the down part i folded it in like this can you see it so this part now you are going to sew it down using 0 0.25 just to sew it down like this and i'll come and show you the next thing to do i've prepared the I prepared the color so this is it can you see the way i sew it very close to the uh stay it's very important to sew it very close like that do you get it now so that your color will be okay so this is it i've turned it inside out can you see it it's laying flat and neat now you are going to take it back to the sewing machine i just thought i should show us you are going to notch this part get the midpoint of the color stand is very important so make sure you get the midpoint so and you notch it get the midpoint of this one too get the midpoint 
and you're going to notch it as well so the notches the two notches you're going to put it together like this can you see it so right side will be facing right side so this is the right side of the collar it will be facing the right side of the stand can you see it now so you have it like this now this one is going to serve as your lining so you are going to bring in this like so so that means the collar will be in between the collar stand and the lining do you get it now so and you make sure you arrange it together like this can you see i hope you can see it so arrange it together so you take it to the sewing machine now you're going to sew it like this and you stop here so you are going to start from the stitch line here you are not going to start from the beginning here you are going to start from this edge here and you're going to sew it around and you're going to stop on the thread here do you get it now so i'll take it to the sewing machine and i will do that i will come and show you the final things to do so this is what the color will look like after sewing can you see it so and you are going to have it like this can you see it all right this is going to be the final thing we're going to do here so this is my color and i, I just want to show you how you can attach it to the top now you get the midpoint of the collar. I've notched it already. And I'm going to look for the uh, center back. I'm going to look for the midpoint as well for your neckline. Just bring the two plackets together like this. Can you see it? And you're going to notch the center. Do you get it now? So this is what you would do. I'm going to bring it now. Can you see it? The side outside of your dress and this part you are going to bring it together can you see it so this is right side of the shirt facing the wrong side of the collar do you get it now so that is how to place it you are going to pin it down go ahead and pin it down the center you secure the center first and you bring it to the uh placket like this and pin it down so you are going to open it up stretch it out and bring it to the other uh placket can you see it and you're going to pin it down do you get it now so just secure it down with your pin so that it will be convenient for you when you want to sew down now after pinning it down like this you know we have it together like this so you are going to sew it down on your seam allowance please do not exceed they half inch because it's going to affect your color so you're going to sew it around so after sewing it around when you have secured it like that you know you now use this one to conceal the uh the sewing so this is how it will be outside can you see it so you sew it down straight first you know this one is not part of it this one is going to stay separately like that and this is going to be together so after sewing it now, you will not have this one to cover it up. Do you get it? So I'll just go and do that now. I'm going to fix my sleeve. Feel free to use any sleeve of your choice. And I will finish up the hem. Just sew it down neatly, very tiny. I'll sew everything down. I'm going to attach my button behind the camera. And I'm going to show you the final outlook on my mannequin. Okay, so tribe, this is the final outlook of our chest dress. Can you see it? So you can give us trial and share with us on our Facebook group, Cut and Sew Tribe. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting tutorial like this. Feel free to share with fellow Sew Tribe. I'll see you in my next class. Bye.